A lot of people, when they come to see me after they lose somebody they love, ask me the question of how long am I going to feel like this? Hello, I'm John Arbor. And people, when they first lose somebody that they love very much, are thinking about that person 24 hours, seven days a week, without any respite, feeling really, really sad and missing that person. But slowly what happens is that the person then moves across and backwards and forwards from loss orientation to life restoration. And what this means in loss orientation is a person is thinking about their loved one, thinking about all the secondary losses that they've lost, the company of the person, the shattered dreams and the hopes and the future plans. And then they might just find that one day they go to the supermarket and they get preoccupied and they don't realise it, but they're not thinking about their loved one that has passed. And they'll go and do their shopping and they'll come home and then they'll walk into the empty house and they'll be triggered again and start thinking about their losses and everything that they miss. But slowly, more time is taken with the restoration part. And a person moves backwards and forwards from thinking about their loved one to doing things and moving on with their life. And then it gets to a point where they start to think about themselves, think about what they're doing. Their loved one is still with them, but in a different relationship, in a different way. Perhaps the memories, all of the photographs, all of the nice things they did together. But at the same time, that's when the person start slowly, slowly moving into restoring and building another life for themselves. And it's called the dual process model. And everybody takes a different time to move through this process. And it's not linear because we can move backwards and forwards. But eventually, we will have restoration in our life while maintaining continuing bonds with the person that we love. Thank you for watching this video.